Okay, this is update number one on Joshua's solar furnace, and we've got the help today from little Josh. Say hi, little Josh. Hi. Hi, and Lucy girl. Hi. Say hi, Lucy girl. Hi. Hi. So this is the update. They wanted to be in the video. So this is the update of Joshua's solar furnace. To uh, Now it's the spring, and I want to tell you how things proceeded over the winter and how it worked for us and, and um, how it went. So anyway, the first thing I want to show you is... Um, uh, what Lucy's got in her hand, which is a uh, it's a thermal switch. You see how small it is. It's about 65 cents on eBay. I think you got to buy a dozen of them at a time, but they're about 10 bucks for 10, 12 of them, whatever. But um, that is very important. That allows you to you need to put that into the furnace, uh, solar furnace, at what would be the hottest point, which I've got uh, up at the top here. And the problem with this is, um, I made a couple mistakes. One of the mistakes I made was I sealed my system up thinking that I could get the little switch back in the system um, some other way. Well, that's not the case. So you need to make sure you have those on hand for the system. A couple other things is, well, I'm not sure what distorted the cans. Um, what distorted the cans and made them kind of just out of shape but I don't think it affects the quality of the heat or anything the performance of the machine at all one of the things I did very well that I'm very happy with is the whole thing is covered in um, black rubber roofing which makes it pretty much um, impervious to any of the elements I mean this thing I believe would last for years and years and years and years just the way it sits without any maintenance at all however um, if you look up here, I think you can see um, it got so hot in here that the the little cheap I found at a garage sale thermostat that I implanted in this thing melted and shattered its own glass. I mean, just melted. I don't know what the temperature was, but it's not working anymore. So uh, what we jo what Josh and I added here was a um, oven thermometer. To uh, to keep track of the of the temperature inside at the hottest point, and that's where it goes into the house, um, right there. And today it's uh, it's in the afternoon. It's only about 140 inside the box. It's probably around 45 degrees Fahrenheit outside Indianapolis, Indiana. And um, we still got it kind of on a temporary setup. It's piped into the window, um, but it's kicking on. And one of the things you can see is where I've got the thermostat. Um, I also have the. <laughs> you tried to see it, Jock. I also have the um, the switch set up, and I had to kind of mount it by taking off my tubing and uh, running my hand up in there and just kind of grabbing it on something so that it would stay. Uh, in res retrospect, I think it's um, fantastic. It definitely heats the front front room of my house. Um, it, it, it is now kicking on and going off by itself and uh, it, it's just darn darn perfect I, I'd like to make about four or five more for the roof yet so if any you have any questions email me and we'll talk working on a vertical access wind turbine now have a good day